A ditch is a small to moderate depression created to channel water. A ditch can be used for drainage, to drain water from low-lying areas, alongside roadways or fields, or to channel water from a more distant source for plant irrigation. A trench is a long narrow ditch. Ditches are commonly seen around farmland especially in areas that have required drainage, such as the fens in eastern England and the Netherlands. Roadside ditches may provide a hazard to motorists and cyclists, whose vehicles may crash into them and get damaged, flipped over or stuck, especially in poor weather conditions and in rural areas. In Anglo-Saxon, the word dick already existed and was pronounced deek in northern England and dh in the south. The origins of the word lie in digging a trench and forming the upcast soil into a bank alongside it. This practice has meant that the name dick was given to either the excavation or the bank, and evolved to both the words dyke, dyke, and ditch. Thus offers dike is a combined structure and car dike is a trench, though it once had raised banks as well. In the Midlands and north of England, a dike is water ditches in the south, a property boundary marker or small drainage channel, where it carries a stream. It may be called a running dike as in Rippingale running dike, which leads water from the catchwater drain, car dike, to the south 40-foot drain in Lincolnshire. The Weir Dyke is a soaked dyke in Bourne North Fen, near Twenty and alongside the River Glen. Sustainability of drainage ditches Drain wedge ditches play major roles in agriculture throughout the world. Improper drainage systems accelerate water contamination, excessively desiccate soils during seasonal drought, and become a financial burden to maintain. Industrial earth-moving equipment facilitates maintenance of straight drainage trenches, but entrenchment results in increasing environmental and eventually profound economic costs over time. Sustainable channel design can result in ditches that are largely self-maintaining due to natural geomorphological equilibrium. Slowed net saltation and erosion result in net reduction in sediment transport, encouraging development of a natural stream sinuosity in a multi-terrace channel cross-section appear to be key to maintain both peak ditch drainage capacity, and minimum net pollution and nutrient transport. Flooding can be a major cause of recurring crop loss, particularly in heavy soils, and can severely disrupt urban economies as well. Subsurface drainage to ditches offers a way to remove excess water from agricultural fields or vital urban spaces without the erosion rate and pollution transport that results from direct surface runoff. However, excess drainage results in recurring drought-induced crop yield losses and more severe urban heat or desiccation issues. Controlled subsurface drainage from sensitive areas to vegetative drainage ditches makes possible a better balance between water drainage and water retention needs. The initial investment allows a community to draw down local water tables when and where necessary without exacerbating drought problems at other times. Water diversion ditches Particularly in Colorado, the term ditch is also applied to open aqueducts that traverse hillsides as part of transbasin diversion projects. Examples include the Grand River Ditch over La Poudre Pass, the Berthoud Pass Ditch and the Boreas Pass Ditch.